More than two weeks after Cyclone Gabriel created a massive landslide next to their home, a retired couple in Gisborne still don't know if they can stay or go or if their home will be red sticket. The Fosters have been living in their caravan. They had to move out of their country homestead after the land moved more than a kilometre, causing about a million dollars worth of damage to a neighbouring farm. National correspondent Amanda Gillies reports. As the sun finally emerges in Gisborne, the full extent of this landslide is on show. It's an eyesore 250 metres across and a kilometre long, arguably the biggest in the district. And incredibly, it missed the Foster's homestead by a metre. They barely heard it coming. You walk out onto that uh, front lawn only to see all those trees just being carted away, smashed, smashed down, broken, munched up and just moved on. His first thought? We were just um, a bit shell-shocked, really. I don't know what I was thinking. It wasn't good. <laughs> it's now been more than two weeks since the land slid down the Manatuki Hill, more than two weeks since the Fosters emptied their home, unhooked their precious photos, moved into their caravan and converted the garage into a lounge. More than two weeks of shock and distress. But still, they don't know what's going to happen to them or their house. Well, we don't really know much, if anything at all, but I believe we're going to be red sticking. Um, and that's really, and what, what's, what happens from now on, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. How tough is that not to know? Oh, it's terrible. It's, just, uh, it's bloody horrible, really. Yeah. yeah, a bit more communication would be good. The homestead has been in the family for about a hundred years. It's Clive's dream retirement spot. It was the views he loved. They're slightly different now. What does this house mean to you and to your family? Wow. It's got everything really. Oh, sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. It's a tough time. Emotions are still high, but he says at least they're alive. It could have been so much worse. His neighbours took a big hit. This used to be an orchard, mandarins and limes, and in fact, it used to be 20 metres down from where it is now. And there were two 20,000 litre concrete water tanks. One is buried and one was shunted 20 metres towards the house. Now, what's going to happen to all this mud and debris? No one knows. It could sit here for up to a year. It's estimated about four hectares of orchard is buried deep and written off. That's about $120,000 worth. More trees will have to be removed to make way for a creek. And then there's about 800 k worth of damage to the land above it. The ground has to dry out before it's cleared and replanted. Realistically, that's next summer. Well, hopefully it'll all turn out right at the end of the day. Yeah. It could take a while, or at least it will take a while. And all for a slide that happened in the blink of an eye. Amanda Gillies, News Hub.